Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we have episode 1 of the FIFA 18 Road to Glory. Uh, now if you'd have seen the first video of this uh, explaining the rules which the, that came out before FIFA 18 actually was released, you will see all the rules on there but just for convenience and efficiency I'm going to read out all the uh, rules on this video as well and they're also going to be in the description down below of every Road to Glory video just in case you guys get confused. Um, so we're going to be going through them but we've also got some uh, club maintenance to sort out to start with. You would have seen the start about there. I've sped up the gameplay guys uh, so it's all in the background and stuff. Um, I'm just going to be talking for this video and I can't really decide how to do the videos. I'm probably just going to do it similar to this every single uh, episode. But you can see what we get in the packs there. We actually packed Cruz uh, who will be a good player to start uh, in our teams. And yeah, we've got some stuff uh, like that, guys. So we're just opening these first packs. You can see who we get in the background. We haven't got anyone amazing yet, but I'm just going to start reading out the rules, guys. And that's what we're going to do for this episode. So the gameplay's in the background. It's just going to be me reading the rules. So um, in the Road to Glory, the only way that we can uh, get players is through either opening packs, as you can see on the screen now, or from doing SBCs. Um, but also we can get them from rewards for doing other stuff and uh, from people like actual things on YouTube like people subscribing and likes and views and stuff like that. Um, so we can't buy a player to use in a team unless we're allowed to because of a reward or uh, we need him for an SBC. We can buy any player we want to use in an SBC guys. Um, that is a rule. So yeah as it says um, you can attain players through opening packs uh, with coins. Uh, through free packs, SBC rewards, or just from playing games, the rewards we'll get from that, which I'll read in a minute. Uh, and if you want to upgrade a player um, to a higher rated special version, that you have to play at least 50 games with that player. So an example of this is, as you can see, Cruz on the screen there. If Cruz uh, gets an inform and we have the coins and we're allowed to get an inform and we want to get ourselves an inform Cruz, um, the first original Cruise there, that rare gold one, will have had to have played 50 games at least for the club. Otherwise we won't uh, be able to upgrade them. And uh, we can't buy club items uh, or staff or anything like that. We can only buy consumables. So that's that to start with. They're the general um, rules for the series. So now we've got some uh, single player rewards to go through. Offline division to start with. So. Uh, division 10 if we um, avoid relegation we don't get anything because obviously it's quite easy uh, if we gain promotion from division 10 offline we get um, a non rare bronze upgrade which probably isn't going to be very useful so that means we will then be able to go out onto the market and get any non rare bronze we like uh, and if we clinch the title in division 10 offline we get a rare bronze gold player anywhere any rating that's bronze um, maximum for Division 9, again, if we get relegated, we get nothing. If we avoid relegation, we get nothing. Um, it's the same rewards for Division 9, I think, yeah. Um, we get a non-rare bronze to upgrade if we gain promotion, and a rare uh, bronze if we clinch the title. Division 8, we get nothing still for relegation, but we get a rare bronze upgrade um, that's less than 57 rated. So that's 56 rated or lower if we avoid relegation, so that's not going to be a very good player at all. And again, probably isn't going to be very helpful. Uh, if we gain promotion from Division 8, we get a, a non-rare silver upgrade that's 67 rated or lower. So that might be useful, but again, probably not. And then if we clinch the title in Division 8, we get a non-rare silver upgrade, which uh, might come in handy for something. We'll have to see. Division 7, still no reward for getting relegated. Um, if we avoid relegation, though, in Division 7, we get a rare bronze upgrade that's 59 rated. Um, or lower so again not useful if we gain promotion we get a non-rare silver upgrade player that's 69 rated or lower um, could be quite helpful and um, if we get uh, the title again we get a non-rare silver upgrade so division 8 and division 7 are pretty similar uh, division 10 division 9 are the same uh, division 6 if we get relegated we get a rare bronze upgrade uh, that's 60 rated or lower. Um, if we avoid relegation, we get a non rare silver player that's uh, 68 rated or lower. If we gain promotion from Division 6, we get a rare silver upgrade that's 70 rated or lower. And if we clinch the title, we can have any uh, rare silver 
upgrade that we would like so we can buy any silver player that we want if we gain promotion from Division 6. So as you can see the rewards are getting better guys and as we go into Division 5, relegation, non-rare silver player upgrade, um, avoiding relegation, rare silver upgrade of any rating. If we uh, gain promotion in Division 5 we can have a non-rare gold upgrade that's 77 rated or lower and uh, if we clinch a title in Division 5 we can get any non-rare gold player we want. Division 4, um, rare silver upgrade if we get relegated. Uh, if we avoid relegation we get a non-rare gold upgrade. Uh, if we get the promotion from Division 4 we get a rare gold upgrade that's 78 rated or lower. And uh, if we clinch a title in Division 4 we get a rare gold upgrade that's 80 rated or lower. So the rewards are definitely getting better guys. Division 3, uh, if we get relegated, non-rare gold upgrade, relegation, uh, avoiding it, rare gold upgrade, 80 rated or lower, uh, promotion, rare gold upgrade, 81 rated or lower, and then uh, clinching the title gets us a rare gold upgrade of 82 rated or lower, which is pretty decent. Now, this is where we can get some real rewards, guys. Division 2, obviously if we get relegated, rare gold upgrade, 79 rated or lower. Avoiding relegation, we get a uh, 81 rated or lower player. Uh, promotion gets us an 82 rated player or lower. And then, if we uh, actually clinch the title in Division Two, we can get any inform or special card that's rated 82 or lower. Or we have the choice to get any uh, rare gold player that's 83 rated or lower. So that's pretty good. And then finally, for the offline division rewards, um, Division One. If we get relegated from Division 1 we can get any rare gold upgrade 81 rated or lower. If we avoid relegation in Division 1 any 83 rated player or lower. And if we actually uh, win the Division 1 title offline we get any special or rare gold player that's 85 rated or lower. So they are the offline division rewards. It's a lot to take in. Quite boring stuff to be fair so it's a good job we've got some uh, gameplay in the background because it's very very boring. So. On to the online rewards. I'm not going to bother reading out the uh, first half of them. Division 10 to Division 6. Uh, actually, I'm just going to read from Division 4 upwards, guys. So if you want the rest of these, they'll be down in the description. But there's too much to read and it's just getting boring. So Division 4 online. If we get relegated, we get a rare silver upgrade. If we avoid relegation, a non-rare gold upgrade. If we gain promotion, we get a 78 rated rare gold or lower. And if we clinch the title in Division 4, we get a rare gold upgrade, 80 rated or lower. Division 3, relegated, we get a non-rare gold upgrade. Uh, if we avoid relegation, we get a gold upgrade that's rare, 80 rated or lower. If we gain promotion in Division 3, we get a rare gold upgrade, 81 rated or lower. And if we clinch the title, we get a rare gold upgrade, 82 rated or lower. Same uh, with Division 2 again. Um, if we win the title in Division 2 we get a uh, special card of 82 rated or lower or we get the choice of having a uh, rare gold player um, that's 83 rated or lower and then um, the rest of them would be down there and if we clinch the Division 1 title off online sorry we get any special or um, we get any special or rare gold player 85 rated or lower which I think is actually the same as the offline rewards which is a bit controversial I might have to change that but for now that's how they are so that's the uh, boring part out of the way as you can see we've got some actual gameplay in the background now although it's very sped up and um, I'm just showing the goals for this week's squad battles foot draft rewards so if we go out in the round of 16 of foot draft we can uh, upgrade uh, any silver player that we want so we can go buy any silver player from the market if we go out in the quarter final we can buy any non rare gold player if we go out in the semi final we can get a rare gold player that's 80 rated or lower. Uh, if we lose in the final of the foot draft, we get a rare gold uh, player that's 82 rated or lower. And uh, if we win the foot draft, we can get any 84 rated or lower player, which is pretty decent. Now on to SBC rewards. So these are the players uh, we will be able to buy ourselves if we um, if we um, complete SBCs. There'll obviously be better prizes for like different parts obviously if the cost more we would get better players um, or if there's more to do we get better players so I'll talk you through that if it's just a one part SBC that costs less than 3k so just one squad to submit the 11 players and it's less than 3k we can upgrade any silver player 
if it's a one part SBC that costs between 4 and 20k um, so it's pretty similar just 11 players but it costs between 4 and 20k we get a rare gold upgrade that's 79 rated or lower uh, if it's a one part SBC that costs more than 20k so um, I don't know like a player of the month oh no because that's 4 if we get like a footmas David Louise again like we did last year that's obviously 11 players just for the one uh, SBC if we did something like that we'd be able to get ourselves a rare gold player that's 81 rated or lower um, if it's a 2 to 4 part SBC so marquee matchups uh, or something like that and it costs less than 40k we can get a rare gold player that's 82 rated or lower and if it's a 2 to 4 part SBC that costs over 40k we can have any inform that's 82 rated or lower so they're the first uh, half of the SBC rewards so these are the more serious ones guys where we're going to get some really good rewards if it's a 5 to 6 part SBC that costs less than 40k uh, so if it has 5 to 6 parts in it we can get a rare gold player that's 83 rated or lower and if it's a 5 to 6 uh, part SBC that costs more than 40k we can get an inform upgrade that's 83 rated or lower or we can have a rare gold player that's 84 rated or lower and then finally, the only reason I could think of this occurring, uh, a more than six part SBC, that's probably just going to be one of the league ones, because I can't think of any other way that it would happen, but we would be able to get ourselves an inform uh, upgrade that's 84 rated or lower, or a rare gold upgrade that's rated 85 or lower. Into foot champions re weekly rewards guys, so, if we were to finish top 100 in foot champions for the week, we could get any two uh, special card upgrades or any three rare gold upgrades. Finish Elite 1, any inform upgrade or any two rare gold upgrades. Uh, Elite 2, any inform upgrade 85 rated or less. Or any uh, rare gold player 86 rated or less. Elite 3, any inform upgrade 84 rated or less. Or any um, rare gold player 86 or less. Gold 1 would get us any inform upgrade rated 83 or lower or any um, rare upgrade rated 85 or lower gold 2 any inform upgrade rated 82 or lower or any rare gold upgrade rated 85 or lower gold 3 would get us any gold upgrade rated 84 or lower silver 1 any gold upgrade 83 or lower silver 2 82 or lower silver 3 81 or lower bronze 1 any gold upgrade rated 80 or lower Bronze 2, 79 or lower, and Bronze 3, any silver or lower um, player. So, that's Foot Champs weekly rewards. On to Foot Champs monthly rewards. If we were to finish top 100 monthly, we could get any three inform upgrades that we like, or any five gold upgrades that we like. If we were to finish elite, any two inform upgrades, or any three rare gold players. If we finished gold, um, we'd get any inform upgrade, or any rare gold upgrade. Silver 2, any rare gold upgrade rated 82 or lower, and bronze uh, would finish 80, uh, any rare gold upgrade rated 80 or lower. So that's foot champs done, on to squad battles. So, if we finish top 100 in squad battles, we can get um, any inform player, or any two rare gold players. <coughs> um, if we finish elite 1, we can get any inform upgrade rated 85 or less or any rare gold upgrade rated 86 or less um, if we get elite 2 we can have any inform uh, upgrade rated 84 or less or any rare gold upgrade rated 86 or less finish elite 3 any inform upgrade rated 83 or any rare gold player rated 85 uh, gold 1 would get us any inform that's 82 rated or lower or any uh, gold player 85 or lower gold 2 would get us any gold player rated 84 or lower Gold 3 would get us any gold upgrade rated 83 or lower. Silver 1 would get us any uh, 82 rated or lower player. Silver 2, any 81 rated or lower. Silver 3, any 80 rated or lower player. Bronze 2 um, would get us any, I mean bronze 1 sorry, would get us any 79 rated or lower player. Bronze 2 would get us any 74 rated or lower player. And then bronze 3 would get us any 70 rated or lower player. And then for monthlies, if we get top 100, oh, there ain't any monthly rewards for squad battles, is there? So we can skip that. That's fine. So this is how you can contribute into this series. I understand there's been a lot to take in so far, guys, and it's all a bit uh, boring. I'd be surprised if you made it this far, to be honest. But if you have, 
this is the way that you can contribute to the series and help out what players we can get. So, for example, the top, uh, if I suggest a player in the comments, so I'm like, hey guys, I need a new left back, um, suggest me some left backs in the comments for the uh, price that I've got, um, pick me one, then the one that has the most likes um, will be purchased in the series, but obviously if there's no comments or none of the like, uh, none of the comments have any likes, then I will choose the player. Um, the viewer that is most useful to the series over the week will receive 5k on Xbox. Only Xbox, sorry PlayStation, I do not have a PlayStation, so that's only on Xbox, but this involves uh, useful comments, uh, likes, um, stuff like that, so the more you contribute, the more you're in chance of winning 5k, and uh, if you're the only one that contributes, then you could be getting yourself 5k every single week, um, bearing in mind nobody else would, so you have to be quite useful though, you can't just be spamming uh, stuff like that. So, um, the only rule is you have to be a subscriber to get that, so uh, if you are the person that contributes the most, you will be uh, shown at the end of the video, uh, in the video, and then I'll contact you um, after uh, to get you that 5k. So that's part one. Part two is weekly rewards. So, as a channel, if I gain three subs in a week, we can get a rare gold uh, upgrade player that's 82 rated or lower. If we gain more than five, we can have any 84 rated or lower player. Uh, so that's subs wise. If we get uh, a total of 100 views on all the Road to Glory videos in the week, we'll get an 82 rated or lower player. If we get more than 200 views um, in a week that on the Road to Glory videos, we can get any 84 rated or lower. So that's views. On to likes. If we get 20 likes on the Road to Glory videos in a week, we can get an 83 rated or lower. And if we get more than 40 likes across all the Red Glory videos in a week, we can get an 85 rated or lower player, which is pretty decent. So they're the weekly rewards, similar to Foot Champs, onto the monthly rewards. Uh, if we gain 10 subscribers in a month, we can get an 84 rated uh, player or lower. Um, if we gain more than 25 subs in a month, we can get any inform uh, that we like on the game, because that's very unlikely. If we get more, uh, if we get more, at least 600 views on all the Red Glory videos in a month, we can get uh, an inform that's 83 rated or lower. And if we get more than 800 views on all the Red Glory videos, we can get uh, any inform that's 86 rated or lower. If we get a total of 40 likes on all the Red Glory videos in the month, we can get any inform that's 84 or lower. And if we get more than 100 likes on all the Red Glory videos in a month, then we can get any inform. So, I'm pretty sure that is all the rules, guys. It's been a lot to talk about. I um, hope you've been enjoying the gameplay in the background. I've nearly spoken for the whole video now. There's about six minutes left. Um, I've just shouted rules at you for 18 minutes, which uh, I do apologise for. But, obviously, uh, I hope you've got a little look at the club. Uh, we've done some SBCs, played some games. Um, we've done all our squad battles games, I think. Actually, maybe not. We might have one left. Uh, as you can see, we've got a pretty good position with the team. We've managed to build ourselves a second team as well, so we don't need to waste uh, coins on fitness or anything. Not a great second team, but the first team's shaping up pretty nicely. We've got uh, that Nathaniel Klein on loan, and uh, we've got that um, striker there, which is uh, doing pretty well there as well, uh, Baldock. This was just to um, uh, get an objective, which was to get every player in the right position, so I'm just changing that all back now. Um, and yeah guys, let me know what you want me to talk about in these videos as well because I don't think it's just that entertaining to commentate over gameplay or just to commentate over sped up gameplay because it does get very boring and repetitive and obviously this video has mainly just been me telling you the rules and I can't do that every week because um, that would just be absolutely dreadful to watch. So, I don't know, do you want me to talk about uh, FIFA, do you want me to talk about the news in FIFA, what I think about what's happening in FIFA? Uh, do you want me to talk about some trading methods, investments, like potential marketing matchups or something? Let me know guys uh, and um, I will get that done because obviously I'm struggling uh, for stuff to talk about. Uh, and for now I'm just going to have to uh, talk over this. Uh, as you can see now, I think yeah, we have played all our squad battles matches. We're currently sitting on 7,796 points which is Elite 3. This video is I think around, what day is it? It's going to be about 3 days behind I think. So, obviously, bear in mind, I played these games on the Monday, maybe the Tuesday, so, uh, and when you're seeing this, I think it's Wednesday. 
so it could be Thursday though so as you can see we're just going to do some SBCs now um, it was pretty early in the morning so it took me a while to do these it was about one o'clock in the morning now I think um, I'm just trying to use up these gold players I just needed uh, some gold players and uh, you can see I'll go and bid on a load of players now I do want to get those SBCs done because you can get rare mega packs for completing them and obviously that's a very good pack and obviously we can't buy any players we can only get it through like doing challenges and uh, SBCs and stuff from packs so that's one reason that I definitely wanted to do them so that's what you'll see me do now I'm just going to be bidding and buying a load of players to try and uh, complete these SBCs um, but as for the first four games, uh, first five games of the squad battle goes it started off pretty well um, four wins one loss um, which is alright we nearly made a comeback in that last game as well I thought we were pretty unlucky there went 4-0 down obviously pulled it back to 4-3 in the last minute and uh, just couldn't get the last goal but yeah we've done alright um, so that was pretty decent and uh, next episode guys uh, is going to be more squad battles and mainly SBCs I think there's three squad battles games in the next episode I have already pre-recorded it guys um, so there's going to be no online gameplay in the next one so if you don't want to watch that um, obviously don't but you know it'd be helpful because we could contribute to the series doing that but um, yeah there's probably going to be some online gameplay soon uh, divisions and obviously when foot champions comes out um, we will be doing that as well which comes out this weekend so I don't, I don't think I'll be doing very well in foot champions I'm not looking to play many games because obviously I have a main account as well this is the second account so we're probably not looking to get top 100 or anything in uh, foot champions but if we can maybe solidify like silver or gold that would be pretty decent so as you can see we've got a pack here we didn't really get very lucky in packs for this first episode um, I was hoping to get something but we got a few players that would help out squads and stuff so that was alright I suppose but no one to shout about really um, so that was a shame but uh, also let me know what other kind of videos you want guys you want a career mode maybe um, pick a team and I'll do a career mode or do you want um, I don't know what do you want do you want some 2027 career modes now because they were quite successful last year I think that's my highest viewed video the Christian Pulisic one got nearly 4,500 views so do you want some 2027 career modes? Do you want some career mode experiments? Uh, stuff like that or anything new, new ideas? Squad builders, stuff like that. Let me know down below in the comments and uh, I'll get them done. Because not many people comment on my videos and I'm sure you've realised by looking at my subscriber count. It doesn't take a genius to work that one out. But um, yeah, it'd, be, um, it'd probably be uh, done if you suggest it guys because this is pretty much the only videos I've got planned, these Road to Glory videos so far, so if you comment something that you want to see on the channel, likelihood is it's going to be on the channel very soon. So that's more than a reason to comment, because there ain't going to be many other comments for you to uh, battle against, and you're certainly not going to get lost in my comment section, because, um, well, if you get lost in my comment section, I don't know what's happened or gone wrong, because um, there's no, hardly ever any comments in there, so... As you can see, we got a Bora there, which is pretty decent because he slots into a Premier League squad that we're starting to build. Obviously, we're still missing a goalkeeper, a left back, a right mid, and a striker from the BPL. And obviously, we're going to struggle when our Nathaniel Klein loan runs out. But for now, it's looking pretty decent, and uh, we're actually putting a Bora in there. I don't know what this second team is. It's like a Calcio A Bundesliga um, Argentinian hybrid, which is a bit weird. And as you can see, I just updated the opponents there and looked at the squads that we were going to be coming up against in the next episode uh, so you get a little sneak preview there and obviously we're not close to top 100 but that is the end of the video guys the top goal scorer for this episode is Sam Baldock um, did pretty well he got himself five goals which is uh, very good considering uh, he was up against Charlie Austin who uh, he actually outperformed massively so yeah he's a top goal scorer uh, we're currently sitting at elite three in squad battles which is pretty decent um, that's some good rewards for that and then obviously there are our two teams uh, at the end of this video so we've got like some Nathan Ake in there that we've brought in Ibora, Nathan Redmond is pretty good and then obviously we packed Cruz uh, and Hector in the second squad and uh, also um, Gisquilio that left back for Juventus uh, which is pretty good as well so uh, yeah remember to leave a like on the video guys and uh, subscribe as well so you can be in a chance with uh, be in with a chance of winning 5,000 coins on FIFA 
Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it as a weekly or a monthly thing, we will see. But, yeah, get commenting on some videos, like the video, subscribe, share it if you really want, do all that good stuff. And uh, apart from that, guys, that's going to be the end of this first Road to Glory video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, let me know on some ways that I can improve it as well, because obviously I'm human. I'm up for improvement. And uh, also, check out any of these videos on the screen. Uh, if you want to see more from me and you can press my face there to subscribe which is pretty decent but apart from that guys that's the end of the video have a very nice rest of your day